The third one. Okay, that's uh, y equals negative five x plus seven. Y equals negative five x plus seven. Okay. Uh, grab a piece of graph paper. Okay, so how did it go for you? How did you graph these graphs? How did you draw these graphs? Oliver? What? How did you graph your graphs? Oh, uh, I forgot to do it. Okay. If you were to do it, how would you graph your graphs? Uh, I would plot them. Plot? Some, plot what? The points. Points? Okay, tell me how to find a point, Oliver. Uh, you plug in numbers. What number? You choose. One. So Oliver says, let's plug in one. Be careful of this negative. Make sure you keep track of it. And don't disappear it. People disappear negatives all the time. Negative five times one is negative five plus seven. Y is two. Okay, Oliver, out of, like, what do I do with that information on the, the uh, axes over here? We plot it on the one. On the one, I guess that's what you mean. And then go up two. You go up two. Yes, exactly. This point is. Here, here is one, two, x is one, y is two. Right? If, it, if it were backwards, if we had the point to start with, we would test it by plugging in one there and two there, right? Right. So far, so good? Yep. Okay. Uh, what? Yes, Richard? Um, so for every time you do this, what y or just on the other side where the variable is, is that always going to be one? Is y always going to be one? Yeah. Like, no. Well, I mean, do you mean like, will there ever be like a 2? Yeah, 2i two or just. <clears throat> it's not impossible, but probably not for a while. Okay. Maybe like a couple of sections from now, perhaps. Okay. Okay. Because this is a nice, this is a nice form where there is a 1y. <laughs> so sometimes we'll, the challenge will be like, okay, now it doesn't look like that. Make it look like that. But for now, it'll be nice and we'll just have Okay. Okay. Tweet question. Uh, now what? Is that enough? Just got a point? Mm. No. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Maybe we should like go ahead and get some more points. Do some more yeah. points. Okay. okay. How do we find some more points? Okay. So you can like take multiple two. Use two for x. Use two for x. So it's negative ten and then plus seven. Oh, so three. Three. Hold on. I'm a little slow. Negative ten plus seven. Negative three. That's what y is. So that tells us two comma negative three. Two comma negative three. There's the point. Okay, should we find some more points? Yeah. Aiden? Negative one. Negative one, let me grab another color. Negative five times negative, that's not a different color. Negative five times negative one plus seven, that's a positive five plus seven, that's 12. Minus 12 and x is negative one, there we go. So negative one. 12, that's 11, 12. Should we find some more points? Yeah. We can find infinite points. Yeah, when do we stop? You can't Never. stop. You can't stop? You won't stop? You can put, it, you can put arrows. Um, yeah, but maybe once we've actually plotted an infinite number of points. Well, you can't plot an infinite number of points. That's the problem. Can we plot an infinite number of points? Well, you can, but yes. it, like it take more than one whole lifetime. In theory, it take yes, but not in a lifetime. Yeah. In theory. What do you think, Aiden? Can I could I right now plot an infinite number of points? Could play infinite number of points. You put dots everywhere. It would take forever. Uh, if I went dot by dot by dot, I agree with you that it would take forever. You just color a line. What is a line? You can a bunch of dots. A bunch of dots that are equal. Okay. Yes. I guess it's where the rest of the dots will be, yeah? Based on this pattern, it sort of seems like all the rest of the dots will be in the shape of a line when they all are so close together. So, what is a line? I guess. Yes. An infinite number of points, or I guess at an infinite number yeah, of yeah. points. Where are all these infinite number of points? I guess that they are going to make this line. So when I draw this, let me let me get my line tool. Make this a little bit straighter. What did I just What did I just do? You just made a line. 
I was so doing I made, made a guess. Down. Number of dots. I made an infinite number of dots, really. Okay. In a way that human beings can reasonably plot an infinite number of dots. They can draw the shape that all the dots would make. Right? I love that you guys don't uh, know a whole lot about graphing because so many of my students that have come into free campus and campus, they did not understand this whole infinite number of dots is what makes the graph thing. For sure. So we're better than high school. Better, better than everybody. And then also, <laughs> the extra slash dextra. Yeah. Is that like what happens with the record? Like if you get that record, <clears throat> then you also get. If you beat that record, then you go on the record board. And then we get a treat. Uh, Mary Dew didn't get a treat. It's just for bragging night. Oh, wait, what What's the record? See over there. Eight extra, zero dextra. What if we get nine extras and one dextra? Then it'd be the same, same thing. Same. 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 It'd be tied. Let's get ten, I know. ten extra. I'll have to think about wait. that. Can you win for the most extras? <laughs> or is that not what you Oh, yeah. You, no, no that's not winning. Time. Uh, so, let's keep concentrated on this here. So I just, what did I just get done doing? Plotting an infinite number of points, right? Mm -hmm. Which are that, and then the arrows, what are the arrows saying? Yeah, it goes on forever. Yeah. That the infinite number of points goes off forever in this direction and also down in this direction. Okay, can you graph a line? Yeah. Yes. You ready? Uh, no. No? Because yeah. no? you got to start from point one on. I mean, are you ready to show me that you're capable of, of doing what I just did? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right, let's clear our desks and do just that. Oh, a homework. Okay. So, listen, please. Uh, go ahead and give you the the assumption that this, not, this graph's going to be a line. That we haven't really established why it would have to be a line. We've only said. Uh, well, the ones in the homework are lines, and so I'm going to assume this one's a line. So I'm going to assume it's a line. If we assume it's a line, how many points do I need to find before I can draw the whole line? Three. Two. Three. Six. One on each. Three. How many do I need before two. I can two. know which? At yeah, least just two. Two. Two is the fewest that I could find. I can't do it with one, right? If there's a point here, I can draw. How many lines can I draw from this point? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Infinite. Infinite. Infinite number. This one, this one, this one. So on and so on. But we want to just know where the one line is. There's only one line that goes through those two points. If I wrap, if this is going to be a line and I find a third point, I'll find a third point here or here or here or here. Or here on the line. Here. It'll all be part of the line. I like to say part of the line. Mr. Stewart? Yeah? Do they have to, does that have to go through the origin? No, absolutely not. Just because it's a line doesn't mean it goes to the origin. Just because it's a graph doesn't mean it goes to the origin. If it goes to the origin, if there's a point here, where is this point? Zero, zero. Unless zero for x and zero for y makes the equation true, this point doesn't exist on this graph. Right? I only go into detail on my answers for things that people do a lot, that are common to do. Okay. That's why I went into detail, because a lot of students try to force a graph to go to the origin, for whatever reason. All right, okay, then let's find a couple of points. How can we find a couple of points? Aiden? Like one, okay, two, one, one, negative two plus one, negative one. So that gives us the point one, negative one. There's one of them. Molly? Negative one. Two times negative one. Can you give us a second point? We'll be sitting pretty. Three, negative one, three. What did I do? I did one negative. All right, I did negative one, negative one. It's one, negative one. That's better. Negative one, three. Negative one, three. There we go. Now I have two points. I know uh, where there's only one line that goes through these two points. Any other points I find are just going to be part of the same line that I could draw right now. Bridger? Um, I did the, exactly the opposite because when negative 2x, then I put x first and then y next. So I put negative 1, then 1. Oh, you switched them? Yeah. That's I got x to be first. So just be careful.
careful that, that you make sure this is always your X, this is always your Y, and, and don't get them backwards. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, that would mess you up. Okay, so there's a line. Voila, we did it, we dropped a line. But now we're going to talk about why does it have to be a line? Can anyone tell me that? Can you tell me why? Like all the points that I might find for all eternity for this graph are just going to be in you know, a straight line. Good. Because of equivalent fractions. They're equivalent fractions. What do you mean by that? Well, like if it's like one half or two fourths or five tenths. Just because it's a function. No, um, there's plenty of functions that are not straight lines when you graph them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, when they're yeah. It's called linear because it makes a line when you graph it, but how do you know it's a linear equation? Because um, every time you do something, it's pretty much the same. Is added on or subtracted from the amounts. Could we help make your point, Daniela, if we made a table out of and looked at the numbers and the patterns in the numbers? Yeah. So y equals negative 2x plus 1. If we made a table out of it and we want to see some kind of a pattern, then let's try and force a pattern out of it, right? So we'll make a pattern out of the things that we plug in. So maybe we'll go negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. I'm confident that we can all plug these numbers into the function, right? So uh, we'll just go ahead and speed it along here. So negative 2 times negative 3 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. 2 times negative 2 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Negative 2 times negative it's 1. Like, What's that? It's negative. Uh, okay, never mind. I forgot negative times negative plus 4. Okay. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Okay, now, at this point, can we start to see some kind of a pattern? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. pattern yeah. do we yeah. see? Yeah. 0 equals 2. Or y equals 2. 0 equals 1. Okay. Well, y equals lots of different things. Or y, sorry. Y, well, my point here is that y equals a lot of things. Oh, when, when x is 0, y is 1. That's yeah. what you're saying. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. I said that on But the, so there's a pattern, like the pattern in the x's is what? What's the pattern in the x's that we're seeing? Skipping every other. It's every one, right? Yeah. We're moving up by one, one, one. We're adding one to the x every one second, right? Because Sim is uh, reminding us that this is a what kind of a thing? Negative. This guy, right? Here, when we wrote our stories, what kind of a number was this when we wrote our stories? A rate. A rate. Yes, it was a rate. So this is like a negative two feet per second, negative two dollars per week, negative two pounds per month, right? Yeah. So then if it's pounds per month, right? Somebody's losing some weight here. Every time a month, well, let's start at zero. Every time a month goes by, they do what? Their they weight does weight. what? Yeah. Goes down. Could be but they're not, they're losing weight because it's a negative. Oh, I thought you, <laughs> So every time I put in the next X, I subtract even more, right? The number gets lower and lower and lower. Lower by how much? One. Um, two. two, down two, and down two, and down two. And so what should the next y value be? Negative down two. Negative one, and again? Negative, negative three. three. Negative three, and now? Negative, negative five. And so on, and so on, and so on. Will that pattern continue? Yes. yes. That's what you call a linear pattern. It's for every same increase in x, okay? By same increase in x, I mean we go up one, we go up one, we go up one, up one, up one, up one. Right? Mm -hmm. so the, the y change is the same. What's that? What's that? I said that they lose 14 pounds. It depends on how long you watch them. If you watch them from negative three months to three months, oh, then they'll lose 14. two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points. Oh. Twelve, twelve pounds. Okay. And any any consistent change in x will give a consistent change in y, like this. If I go from negative 3 to 0, how much did the x change? 3. 3. And how much would the y change from negative 3 to 0? 6. 6. And if I go another 3, then the y should change? 6. 6 again. 
right? The x changed three, and so the y should change six, just like it did from here to there. Right? This change is a three, so we should see a y change of six, down six. If we go another three, we should see another y change of going down six, negative six. Okay, so it's a nice, steady, predictable rate. If the rate is always the same, the rate at which we're changing is the same, then <coughs> it's just a straight line. Right? This person, however they're, uh, if, it, if it represents speed, they're just going the same speed the whole time. Okay. Uh, here, let me ask you about uh, this graph. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna draw a line. I'm gonna draw a, uh, a different shape, okay? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Oh, you have no, no idea what I'm going to do. Okay, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me bring something up here. YouTube? No. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Oh, is your name Jason? Yes, it is. Okay, look at this guy. You see him going up? He's getting launched out of a cannon. And then he is floating down. So we're going to work on finding a, a graph that shows us his height over time. Well, when he's this high, he's this like the dot lines exactly with like his feet. Okay. You see, as I move the dot in the graph. <laughs> So at the very beginning, where is he? What is the height at the very beginning? Zero, zero. It's very at the bottom. Very at the bottom. Uh, here, I can make little points. There we go. Okay. And then what happens after that? He goes up. He goes up. Okay. Does he go up at a constant rate? No. Yes. The rate yeah. changes. Why does the rate change? Because he slows down as he's about to. He slows down because of? Gravity. Gravity. He slows down. So he starts off going... Kind of fast, maybe, but then he's going slower and slower, right? Mm -hmm. That would mean he's going faster. If it was flatter like this? No. Straight. Let's see. What are we going? Are you going faster here or here? The first, first one. The first, first one. Let's watch. Now, mine's the blue guy. And the green guy is the actual one that we saw a second ago. And now uh, my guy's going slowly in the air, right? <laughs> the steeper the line, the... Where'd he go? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Are you listening? The steeper the line... The higher the height. Uh, faster. faster. The faster he goes. It doesn't matter how steep it is. Like, the height doesn't depend on how steep the line is. Right? The steepness tells me how fast he's going. Okay. So if we get rid of this, all right. What do you think about about my my human cannon and the and the green one? They're pretty the same. They're pretty the same. Could they be more the same? Yeah. 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 What's wrong with my guy? What should he be doing? He's going higher, higher though. He's going faster. faster. He needs to go faster at the beginning. Okay. So he needs to go faster than he's going. So like that. Yeah. Yes. Too fast? Let's find out. Too fast. Too fast. Okay. What do you think this graph would look like if we graph the whole thing? Would it just be like a straight line? No. What would no. it be? It'd be a, be a whole mix. Kind of like this, like a curvy dome thing. Like maybe that, right? What's gonna happen when his parachute comes out? 
function. Like if there's a function that we could write about this, it would not look like the ones we've been using. Right? Uh, let's see. This is negative 2x plus 1, right? Okay. So can someone tell me another function that would make a straight line when I graph it? Let's make it up. Even? Somebody floating around in space. Oh, you're telling me a story. I want like just a oh, an equation like that. Uh, okay, uh, I got confused. Anybody make one up, right? Y, y equals, equals 100x uh -huh. minus 50. That's so this could be a somebody who was making $100 an hour, right? And, but they lost $50 before work on a particular day, something like that. Had to buy gas. For some reason, had to buy gas. Yeah. Somebody shoplifted like $50 worth of stuff on their watch. It was $50. It could be that, so they have to pay for it. What's that? What? $50 in taxes. Okay, taxes, whatever the reason. Okay. What is it about this equation that makes you sure that it would be a line if we graphed it? So if you had like one x, one is x, two is x, three is x, mm -hmm. it will just go, go up at a constant. So every time you plug in the next x, you get 100 more. Next x, 100 more. Next x, 100 more. Right? The x to y ratio is the same always. Do you know what kind of a thing might make it not a constant thing? Like. Like Daniela said, we plug in an X and we get 100 more, X and 100 more, X and 100 more. Aiden, what do you think? Uh, y equals I. What? Y equals pi X minus, minus three. three. Is this a linear function? No. Daniela, what do you think? Um, Oh, I know something that It's just a number, yeah. I mean, so it, just like this one, every hour, let's say $100 an hour, every hour that goes by, $100 more. Hour, next hour, $100 more. Next hour, $100 more. Next hour, and this one, pi more dollars. Pi more dollars. Pi more dollars. Still constant. How do we make it not constant? Um, By changing it with like adding something or something. Like what? Y um, equals? Um, y equals 3x. Minus seven. So where like the three x, you're always getting three yeah. more. But when you're subtracting seven, it kind of it does it. Ooh, yeah, I guess. So the negative seven is kind of like we start out there at negative seven. Like if I plug in zero, y is negative seven, right? Zero negative seven. But from there. You just go over one and up three, and next one hour goes by, three more dollars. One hour goes by, three more dollars. Ethan, what do you think? So, like, five minus x. Five minus x. Three. Is three? No, plus three. Oh, plus three. Well, let me clean this up a bit, because five plus three is eight. And let me just put this as negative x plus eight. Now we have a negative one times x plus eight. Is that the same? Is that a constant rate? No. Well, this one would start out at uh, 0, 8. That would be a point on the line. And then it would just go, every time I move over in the x1, what happens with the y? It's now, 8 is just where we start. Here, let's look at a little chart here. Uh, let's try 0, 1, 2, 3. So you see a pattern. 0 will give me 8. What if I plug 1 in here? What will I get? Plus 8. Seven. Okay, two, plug a two in there. 
So I've got three in there. What's the pattern here? Up one, down one. Every time x goes up by one, y goes down by one. Daniela. So if you were, yeah, if you were making uh, like, I don't know, $20 an hour uh -huh. for a ton of hours, and that was your Y, but only one time you had a Christmas raise uh -huh. for like, yeah, just one time, you got your Christmas bonus. How much was the bonus for? Um, let's say it's $500. Oh, then, um, but it's only one time. So you just, like, okay, so the rest of them are y equals 20x, mm -hmm. but then um, just one time on the entire graph, you have plus $500. Well, yeah, that is, if we were to represent how much do I have after x months, we could write it like this, and it would still be linear, because you'd still be getting $20 every hour. Every hour you get $20. Yeah, but then like go really crazy after Christmas. I guess you could. Functions don't quite work that way, but I guess you could kind of see like a jump up, like that to five hundred dollars. But that kind of is uh, what we see there too. Um, do you remember drawing graphs and having the knee curvy things? Remember those? What was different about those from this? What was different about the equations that came from? They had, and there's lots of examples of graphs that are curvy, but they had things like x squared in them, right? Now if I put a 2 in front of x squared, before I multiply by 2, now x is already getting like multiplied, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, like you don't just increase this by 1. If I go from 1 to 2, then now 2 times 2 is 4, and then I multiply by 2, okay? So if our equation looks like y equals something times x plus some number, any time it looks like that, it's going to be linear. You can think of this as almost like a starting place. We start off with b dollars, we start out at b miles, we start out at b pounds or whatever, and we increase by m right, for every one x. Right? Uh, Molly? So like with the x squared, um, it's different than if you're doing like dx because um, it's a different number every time depending on what x is. Yeah, because x, once it gets squared, now it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's x is kind of growing faster. When I plug in an x, it doesn't, I, I don't just get to move over an x and just multiply by the next number. I'm multiplying by x squared. It's a different number every time yeah. that than if it was just like 3. Uh, let's see. You have a question, Aiden? One that was like not linear is kind of what I was talking about. Down to it. We've established that if it looks like mx plus b, then it's linear. Okay. Uh, real quick, make up a story for this equation. Y equals 5 thirds x plus 2. Make up a story for y equals 5 thirds x plus 2. Um, Clint? He gets 5 thirds of a, a dollar every hour he works. Sure. Now that's a terrible job, but it's still a good story. It's 5 thirds of a dollar an hour. Now hold on just a second. Now I don't want to get fractions of dollars. Right? I'm going to get whole dollars. Okay? I just want you to write this equation now. Come back next time and tell me how many hours have to go by before he gets a, just a round number of dollars. No fractions of a dollar. Okay? Goodbye. Have a good day. That's the homework. That is the homework.